dragon streaking across the sky on its re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere, aiming for a splashdown in just a little while from now. So it's pretty exciting that we get this shot right now as it is our first view from planet Earth of the Dragon capsule since it lifted off from Cape Canaveral uh, just several days ago. I will say this is this is a pretty rare treat to be able to see this here. And again, this this video is coming from a NASA airplane that uh, we're flying around that recovery zone there, a WB-57. It's commonly used for a lot of atmospheric studies and other mm -hmm. science missions. Uh, but able to put a tracking camera on it to try and get uh, this uh, re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere today. We're hearing that they should have AOSO acquisition, acquisition of signal back with the Dragon spacecraft. Right now it's about 46 kilometers in altitude. Yeah, so just for orientation purposes, if you've seen our, our launches previously, you might be familiar with the angling of this as takeoff. Uh, reminder, this is re-entry. Um, the plane is below the Dragon spacecraft and the camera's looking upward as it's coming over the spacecraft. So it looks like uh, from the orientation of the, the imagery there, the Dragon is going up when in fact it is, it is still coming back down towards Earth. And again, just keeping you on the timeline. So we actually acquired signal uh, about a minute ahead of when it was expected, where we're gonna be looking for those initial drogue shoot deployments at about 41 minutes after the hour. So after Dragon gets a little bit lower down, we're gonna be keeping an eye out. You're gonna see the drogue shoots deploy initially, followed by those four main parachutes, uh, much larger and able to slow the vehicle down for a much softer splashdown in the ocean. We should be getting that drogue, sh drogue shoot deployment in just about two minutes now. And yeah, just heard that we're now below 30 kilometers. And if you're just now tuning in, this is Dragon. This is Dragon coming home. This is from a camera on board a chase plane there at the, the landing zone over the Atlantic, about 200 or so nautical miles off the coast of Florida. We're under 30 kilometers, continuing to descend. And the next milestone we're gonna be looking for is parachute deployment. And here and we're now about 20 kilometers in altitude. The Dragon spacecraft continuing to descend. It's now subsonic, so already starting to slow down thanks to the error braking, basically slamming into that Earth's atmosphere, causes a lot of friction and allows the vehicle to eventually reach its terminal velocity, basically. Uh, and then those parachutes are gonna kick in. So there you have visual confirmation of the deployment of our drogue parachutes. This is the first of two parachute deployments. And so those drogue chutes do the initial slowing and then they're ultimately gonna pull out the four main parachutes responsible for really slowing the spacecraft down prior to that splashing. You can hear cheering here at SpaceX headquarters as the employees that have gathered around our mission control center are sharing the same view as you. Uh, what a gorgeous shot of Dragon coming back down.
seconds, we will see those main parachutes just exactly like that begin to expand as they capture more air, further decelerating the Dragon vehicle down to the Atlantic Ocean. You really can't ask for a more picture-perfect <laughs> shot than that. And yes, all, all four chutes now deployed. It's going to continue to descend. It's going to continue to slow down and then ultimately splash down in the Atlantic there. We're now under a kilometer in altitude. Just about 750 meters to go. In case if you're just joining us, you can see on your screen there, Dragon re-entering, has just re-entered the Earth's atmosphere after departing from the International Space Station. We have a gorgeous shot of four healthy parachutes um, deployed and slowing the vehicle down as it is approaching the surface of the Atlantic Ocean uh, off the coast of Florida. And it's continuing to descend under those chutes. We just passed 500 meters. Everything continuing to look good via reports to all the flight control teams. Now we're at about 400 meters. And just passing 300 meters, continuing to descend. We might be right on time. We were planning on splashing down at about 5.45 a.m. Pacific, and we're getting real close to that bingo time. Just past 200 meters. And we have confirmation that Dragon is now under 100 meters, uh, is 100 meters above the, the surface of the ocean. So next up, spin, standing by for splashdown. now in recovery. That splashdown came right on time, 5.45 a.m. Pacific, 8.45 a.m. over on the East Coast. The teams that have been ready and waiting, they were staged just a few nautical miles away. They're going to start moving in now. You can see those two fast approach boats already speeding their way towards the capsule. While there's still a little bit more work to be done at this point, like we said, uh, the recovery team has to safe the vehicle and then uh, lift it onto the recovery vessel. Uh, however, obviously by the excited cheers uh, here at Mission Control, the splashdown is an enormous event for us uh, in terms of the safe re-entry, um, or excuse me, the safe return to Earth from the International Space Station. That's right, and you'll, you'll notice two boats on their way. One boat actually responsible for beginning to safe the vehicle and get it ready to go up onto the boat. The other one's going to go off and collect those parachutes as those four main chutes actually get jettisoned away from the spacecraft as soon as the vehicle detects that it's splashed down in the water. But if you missed it, I, I'm really sorry because uh, that was really cool <laughs> was to beautiful. see. Uh, but Dragon did splash down at 5.45 a.m. Pacific time, 8.45 a.m. over there on the East Coast where they're now moving in on a Dragon spacecraft in the water, ready to recover it. Exactly. So like we said, the recovery team has been ready and waiting for a Dragon, splash, for, excuse me, for a dragon splashdown. Uh, it's been quite the morning 
evening. Dan and I have been here since yesterday night, uh, bringing you coverage from uh, Dragon departure from the International Space, Space Station now all the way down to Splashdown. So uh, it's a great next milestone, and we are excited to bring you coverage of the recovery operations as well. Um, but we have a few minutes before that happens, so I'm, we're going to take a, a break momentarily, and we will continue bringing coverage uh, as the recovery operations progress.